Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a Lime SDR working with an Arduino. In fact it is actually being controlled by the Arduino through the SPI bus. So if we follow these wires here we've got a little red gadget here. This is just um, connecting the Arduino SPI to the Lime. There's a few connections there and it goes into this little tiny little 0.05 inch JTAG port. I'm having trouble focusing on that actually. And yeah, the JTAG port is programmed through this Altera FPGA in the middle. And the main line chip, of course, is the LMS 7002M, which is there on the left hand side, that um, smaller chip right there. So, in the laboratory today, we have obviously those components. We've got a little slider here, which we're going to tweak up and down just to demonstrate how the Arduino can control the transmission gain. And we're going to be monitoring it on my phone here, which is actually getting quite a good signal on its own today for some reason. Must be the weather conditions or something, but we've actually got two bars and a staggering minus 112 dBm and over here is my plate aerial and if I could actually get the camera to go outside up there somewhere in the ether in the atmosphere is my outside aerial can't see it it's about four meters off the ground just a little whip, whip antenna at the top of there and of course here we have a cheap OSDR plugged into a laptop to uh, monitor the signal. At the moment it's just producing quite a lot of background noise. It's not really picking up much of a signal as you can see on the waterfall. So let's have a quick look at the code that we're using for the Arduino. Now, it's not the most fascinating subject um, arguably but um, just for reference um, the uh, registers are written here and the first one actually defines that we're writing channel A, which is uh, very important, especially for the Arduino. So we write all the channel A registers, there's loads of them, dozens and hundreds actually. Look at all that, there's like an impressive array of registers. Okay, a lot of them are uh, 0x000, um, but yeah, there are some ones which have actual data in them as well. And here is the register address that defines that we're now looking at channel B. So it's the um, 0x0020. And uh, this um, uh, value here, this hex value, defines that all the next lot of registers that we'll be reading are on channel B. It's uh, pretty crucial. Okay, so it's all channel B. It's pretty much the same number surprisingly. Just a little bit less. Still quite a lot. So here we are down to line 100. Uh, 1168 we're at the end of those registers and of course we've got to redefine the fact that we are going to be looking at channel A again. So we set this um, value back to um, 0x FFFD and uh, here is just a little bit of calibration data that um, we're using for DC correction and uh, a little bit of code to pick up values off the off the slider nothing um, unusual about that other than it's written in hex um, there's some code there to turn the TX pad on or off at, at a bit of a later stage with a toggle switch or something and um, serial print and these are the this is the code for uh, writing to the line SDR and this is the code I'm reading from it. Very simple. Couldn't be simpler really. So uh, what should we should try? Let's just have a quick look at the phone again. Let's look at the levels on that. Yeah. 112 dBm, not much change there. Sometimes the phone can be a bit um, strange. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it was actually 118. So this app on the phone isn't actually terribly accurate. It needs to be refreshed every now and again. 
So anyway, we're on 100, minus 114. Let's go over here. Nothing much changed here, but if we just edge the slider up a little bit, remember this slider is actually controlling the, um, the Arduino. But I can hear something. I can hear some whining. We've got some extra strong bars on the uh, waterfall there. So I'll just edge the slider up again with this hand here. See if we can get a bit more signal. There we go. And a bit more. There she goes. So we've got loads of signal now. So let's see if we're getting anything, any response on the phone. Nothing yet. Sometimes I just have to refresh it. Turning it on and off. Just give it a little bit more on the slider. There it goes. Minus 97 dBm on the phone. And uh, just to prove it still works and we can actually receive data, let's have a look at a, a YouTube video. Uh, find here and let's well, I can't play that one, that one's already downloaded, let's try this one. Just uh, randomly playing a video really. This is Lime's DR board from Lime Microsystem. It can work from one hundred kilohertz to see that's uh, downloading it nicely. Gigahertz. It has two receivers and two transmitters. Let's have a look at another one. And it I will show you how to use Lime SDR as all-in-one lab equipment. It can replace this is a good, uh, signal video. generator, spectrum analyzer, and oscilloscope. Hey, let's have a look at. Um... Hey guys, I'm no. Carly Kloss, no. and I just created my own Go website away. with Witness. No, please.